Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to handle the list uh, using the event handler. Okay. So what exactly it means, right? Uh, before moving, uh, this is just a simple request uh, for the all the user who is watching. Uh, do subscribe to the content creator, right? It's not only for specific for me, for others also. If you are watching or consuming any of the videos, right? Uh, do click a like and subscribe to their button so that it helps the content creator. It's free for you, but does help the content creator. Okay, so uh, moving back to the topic. <laughs> uh, so what we are talking about is handle list using the event handler, right? So, okay, so first understand what I am trying to say over here. So let's say if you want to bring something like this list into the uh, your Amazon, uh, not Amazon, sorry, Dialogflow CX uh, chatbot, right? So they have given the some uh, script uh, code snippet over here or custom JSON, right? They've given over here. So what we can do is once we copy and let's say in this our chatbot right uh, once uh, it goes to the welcome event uh, we want to display a list over here right so uh, for that what we will do is we will go to our welcome and click on add dialog options and click on custom payload we will remove this and copy paste same thing over here click save okay now i will refresh the page and now i should get that list over here see you can see now we are getting a list now if i click over here nothing happens right because uh, we have not tell what to do right so let's say if we create an intent still it will not work because what dialog flow says is once you click over here it triggers an event right so what we have to do is capture this event right so now uh, after welcome right from welcome it goes to where main menu so what we will do is we will go to the main menu and like previously we added a timeout right so similarly we will okay before moving over here uh, we will give uh, some name to this event uh, so right now the event name is blank so let's give list as the event right and click save you can give any other name uh, and different name for each and every one uh, let's do a different name so that will be more intrusive uh, list one and let's do something like that okay click on save now what we will do is we will go over here in menu and add one more event right and this is a custom event so we will say list one and we say you have oops what happened you have selected the list one and just click save and similarly we will add one more custom handler which is list two and we will say you have what happening you have selected list two okay so let's do this way okay now we have saved that let's refresh the page and once it loads up right i will click over here now you can see that it's coming as a messages so you have selected list one and if i select list two now you are getting the other message so this is a one of the way where uh, uh you can handle the list items uh, through the event handler and event handler we add to the next menu right so how to know the next menu as i mentioned right in the welcome right so first message that we are seeing this one right this whole message is coming from welcome event right and over here where we are going next it's going to the main menu so we will go to the main menu and in that we will add the event handler because it's the next input which is uh, the input to be handled by the user it can be a text also or it can be an event so yeah this is how uh, we handle the list uh, in dialogflow cx uh, messenger side right uh, hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day